Hi everyone, welcome to March Favorites. I have a lot to share with you and I'm really excited about some of these. Starting with the first one that I heard about from Melissa55, she has great recommendations. I'm sure all of you are probably already following her, but if not, go check her out. She talked about how on her chest, her arms, her hands, that she has spots and she started using this. It is very expensive and I have a possible alternative I'll talk about in a minute, so hang on. This works amazing. This is what Melissa recommended. It's called Glytone, and it is very strong. I ordered it off Amazon. It is 40 something dollars, and it's very thick, so you can get out just what you need, and I have been putting it on my spots. I read a review on Amazon that mentioned Melissa and said they saw it you know, on her channel, but they said that they had seen their hands look younger. I truly think that my hands look younger. Now it's early days to say how much it will impact my spots, but I'm gonna insert a clip here. It was very early on when I got this that I could peel off some of my spots. If only I could peel them all off, but hopefully in time I still have a lot of spots I have spots down on my arms, I have spots here, I have one on my right leg that I stare at every time we go to Maui. I hate that thing. <laughs> and I'm hoping that this will get rid of it all. But when this is done, which is the one that Melissa recommended, and I'll link them all below, I am going to try something that my sweet subby Lori Abercrombie, hey Lori, recommended and I use the Alpha Skin Care. I use the Alpha Hydroxy that's in the jar and she recommended this and I got it off Amazon. I haven't used this one yet but it looks really promising. It has 12% glycolic so I'm going to keep one at one house and one at the other. I have seen results with this one but it's $43. I think this one on Amazon was 18 and if I can I'm going to put it into a container with a pump or put a pump in here or something because that is definitely much easier to use but so far this has been amazing I'm starting to use it on my chest and hopefully I will continue to get great results with it and occasionally because I have such tough skin I've even used this on my face and I can feel the cell turnover and you can you know rub off a little bit of it I have very tough skin though so don't do that unless your skin can handle it the next one is also a recommendation of our sweet Melissa 55 and that is velvet scrunchies this is twofold one I love these velvet scrunchies and I bought this isn't even the whole bag a huge bag of these for under ten dollars you can get three of them I think for four or five dollars at Walmart I thought why not get I think these are nine something and this is only half the amount because I left the other half up north there are some pretty vibrant colors that if I can't get use out of just in day-to-day -day life I use it when I'm washing off my makeup so I still get use out of all of them and I love having these variety of colors Melissa showed a technique now when I grab my hair and put it up I'm gonna insert a clip hopefully I have always just automatically done my scrunchy my hair folded towards the back it makes me look like I don't have much of a bun Melissa demonstrated flipping the hair towards the front suddenly I have a huge granny Tweety Bird bun it's amazing how much volume I have just from that little trick also Melissa you're right these stay in they hold the hair in I love these I do these when I'm going to the gym I do these when I'm going for a hike when I'm just heading out real fast to go to the grocery store and like I said for washing my face or when I'm not washing my hair I put it up in one of these in the shower these are fantastic so definite favorite is these velvet scrunchies as well as Melissa's technique and I'll link her video below she showed three or four different ways to uh, put your hair up and I am so appreciative of it. It's funny how sometimes the simplest things can make a huge impact. So thank you, Melissa. I have two more things and one is not a uh, rave. It's asking you for your help. But first, I want to show you these pants that I got off Amazon. 
I think they were like 20 something dollars. Let me back up here so you can see them. They have the elasticized waist. They are uh, the tie and they're slim leg. They have a wonderful sateen to them. They are dressy. You can dress them up or play them down. I will try to remember to insert some pictures. I love wearing these types of casual trousers that you can dress up or dress down. I can wear them with heels or flats and you can put them with so many different things and I'm going to insert what I've worn which is just some neutral black and white outfits. It's just so easy and this green color is kind of reminiscent to me of a khaki pant or you know an army logo which I'm more of a dressy girl so I wouldn't wear but up north is very casual so this helps me to feel like I'm comfortable still presentable and yet not overdressed so these are a definite favorite and for 20 something dollars they're lined they're a beautiful material they come in all different colors i'm probably going to be ordering more but i just really love these green ones the last thing i really like but i'm hoping maybe one of you have an even better recommendation i wear earplugs to bed and i've worn the foam ones and they just don't block out mark snoring enough I tried these that I do like from Amazon and I think they were like five or six dollars in their own individual plastic container which I really like and you put them in. Now I have to say they do work because on my Fitbit sleep app I am getting way more deep sleep than I used to. So they have to be blocking out some of Mark's snoring but I think when he's at lumberjack volume it's breaking through and I still have sometimes during the night when I'm, honey, can you roll over? And then it takes me a while to get back to sleep. I would love to find a set of earplugs that blocks out everything. And these are good for, you know, higher decibels. They're good for the shooting range. They're known for all of that. And I like how they twist in. And like I said, I am getting better sleep since I started using these, but I just thought I'd ask, if anybody has any better recommendation so that I can block Mark out when he's really at full volume on his story. I have been appreciating acidic food. So my girl Kathy, all of a sudden, out of the blue said, my allergies are completely better. And I'm like, betaine? And she says, no, I haven't been taking it. And I'm like, all those tomatoes you ordered. She ordered a bunch of cherry tomatoes and left them on her counter and just started popping them throughout the day like a snack and suddenly her allergies were better and this made me realize with betaine it seems like i'm too alkaline too alkaline too alkaline oops too acidic and it's hard to balance and when you're too acidic you have mount vesuvius happening in your stomach and it's very uncomfortable you can almost feel like you're going to get sick and that's not a pleasant sensation. And that's happened a couple of times on the drive down from up north because my allergies are so bad up there, I tend to overdo the betaine where I end up on the other end of the spectrum. So when Kathy and I twigged to the fact of the acidic foods, which I don't know why I didn't think of myself, I thought I'm really gonna ramp up my acidic foods. So I'm gonna read you some of the foods I've been eating, the cherry tomatoes, I've been putting lemon in my water. I've been putting just a splash of OJ in my water. I don't like too much sweetness and the sugar in the OJ can add up. So it's just a nice splash in the water to flavor things, but it's acidic. Um, pomelos, which I love. Um, red Texas grapefruit at Walmart in the five pound bag is so sweet. I don't even need to put stevia on it. And I'm not a big, tart girl with grapefruit but these red texas grapefruit are amazing and just eating all of these has made my system more acidic which means it functions better you can absorb your nutrients better and my allergies are less oh you can hear the angels singing i am so incredibly happy at not constantly waking well you know I did say I had that wedge pillow last month, so that helps my under eyes a lot, but I still have struggled with the allergies. So this acidic foods, it, I always prefer more natural. I'm now only taking one betaine a week, so that's pretty amazing. And I love 
all of the more acidic foods. You know, just doing it naturally, but plus they taste great. And speaking of under the eyes, but also your skin and your hair, I've been loving my argan oil. I have been putting argan oil mixed with moisturizer, just one drop of it. I love the Trader Joe's argan oil, and I've been putting it over my face, letting that sit in, sorry, set in, and then doing my makeup. And if I need to, I put a little more argan oil under my eyes. I've also used this after my concealer. If I end up with a little bit too much creasing or cakey, even if I put powder on, to me, the cake face or cakey under eyes, it's like a cake dough. If you picture that, if you put in too much flour, yeah, if you put in just a little bit of water, it's not going to help get it back. If you put in a lot of water or eggs, it'll get the consistency back to more runny. Well, when you get this cakey, you've got to get it back more runny. And I do that through a drop of argan oil. And I just take a drop, rub it on both fingers, and tap it in underneath here. And that can undo if you're too dry, your concealer's drying, or you've powdered too much under your eyes. I really find like it hydrates beautifully. It's giving me a fresher eye look. This has been my nemesis. And I am feeling like, I hate to tempt the fates, but like I'm starting to be okay with my under eyes and not look in the mirror and go, oh, and all of these things have helped, but I really am loving the argon oil. Two more quick appreciations. Mono Lauren, with this virus season, I would not be without it. And I work with people from all over the world. We just had a huge convention in Europe. Everybody's coming back. Joy. I would not want to be at work exposed to all of this without Mono Lauren. So I am so grateful for that. And we're actually taking it every single day. I know that I say that I usually only take it once a week and then more if needed. Lately, it's been every day, and I am so grateful for it. And then the final thing is up north, we've been so busy with all of the renovations, we haven't had time to explore our subdivision, and it has amazing hiking trails. And I have been loving going out and exploring. It doesn't feel like exercise, because I'm in such an amazingly beautiful environment with the trees and the golf courses and the lakes and I have to tell you a funny story. I went for a walk and I found this lake and it had these ducks and so then the next day I said to Mark let's go I want to show you where this is so it's about a 20 minute trail in and we get to the lakes and I said see the ducks and he goes there's ducks. And I said, yeah that's what I just said. He goes honey you know the ducks are fake right? And I looked and I was like, I don't have my contacts on, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Don't tell him, but I probably could have gone to that lake 10 more times, seen the ducks in the exact same spot before I finally clued in. They put fake ducks in our lake. <laughs> I cracked myself up. For TV, we're still watching Man in the High Castle. Just so you know, it's about the Germans and Japanese winning World War II and they take the Japanese take the West Coast, the Germans take the East Coast. As you get further into the series, there is, I don't know if you call it sci-fi, I guess, a time travel aspect. So some people that might not interest, I think they've done an amazing job. I'm still enjoying it, even though you kind of have to go with it. And we're in the last season. So we should be finished it soon. And we have a whole queue in Netflix and Amazon Prime of new shows but if you have anything that's really amazing let me know below thank you so much for spending some of your time with me i always appreciate it and let me know what you've been appreciating and enjoying this month i always love sharing with you thank you again and we'll talk to you next time